Homo erectus, or Java Man, isn't a half-man, half-ape either. The man who discovered it admitted before he died that it was a fraud. That was a lie. He confessed that he had found an ape skull about 50 feet away from a human leg and two human skulls, and had mixed and matched to create a fictitious creature. The only fraud here is the rampant dishonesty employed by the ICR. Dr. Eugene Du Bois found several human skulls in cave deposits. He found the H. erectus fossil in river deposits in a floodplain 65 miles from the other finds. The femur is from a modern human. The teeth belong to an orangutan. The skull cap belongs to H. erectus based on comparison with other finds which came later. Both creationists and evolutionists now admit Neanderthal man is a human. Much like H. erectus, H. neanderthalensis is an extinct hominid. Homo is the genus containing all human species. Scientists from Johns Hopkins University x-rayed the bones and found it was a human male stooped over from rickets or arthritis. One specimen was found to have suffered rickets in childhood, broken bones in middle age, and arthritis in old age. There are hundreds of specimens of H. neanderthalensis. The study in question referred to only one. We cut the mindless denialism which followed. Essentially, the ICR repeats the claim that all of the fossils we have been discussing do not exist. Mr. Ham then concludes this segment by playing the evil evolutionist conspiracy card. Yet